here. I'm up at the Cantec North American headquarters here with Jaden today. We're looking at the Stromab CT600 optimizing saw. Jaden, tell me a little bit about this machine. So again, this is our, our miter optimizing saw, uh, plus or minus 70 degree miter on the cut. Um, we can do auto loading, uh, outfeed with kickers. Uh, you'll see in here that there's three clamping systems. So two vertical clamps and two additional vertical clamps as well as two horizontal clamps. Um, it also can do defecting as well. So you would do your chalk marks um, and then the pusher will run over top of the board, Push scan right the here. defects. So this is defecting right here, reading the board, going over it. And then you're showing, show me where you, you have any chalk marks on any of these down here. Yep. So you're marking, you're marking what you want to cut out. It'll read that. Does it cut on the line, right, left, or you just tell it where so you want So depending on the cut list, um, it'll, it'll cut right on the line if it's a straight cut. If it's a miter, then it'll just take out the waste that's needed and remove the defect. Okay. Um, as far as cut lists go, you can import them directly from a PC uh, directly into the machine or the operator can actually just plug them directly into the machine as well. Um, you can filter through your cut list throughout the day, track your production on this outfeed monitor here. So you know what's been accomplished in the day and what there still is to do. It'll also let you know what parts, if there are labels, if you have a printer on it per se, it'll let you know what's already been so done. You can print you can screen print right on the parts. Correct, yeah. And you can do notching on this saw as well too. Yep, so an additional unit that we can put on this is a notching unit um, before the saw. Um, and you can program that directly into the machine depending on the depth that you need. And for optimizing miter saws, is there any really anybody else out there doing the miter cuts nope. like this? No. Nope. And so this is the market that this really fits in. If, they, if somebody's doing what, what kind of what kind of space does this fit the best in? So truss manufacturing would be a, a very large one, prefabricated home building, moldings, uh, rails, um, styles, kind of really anything that has a top and a bottom flat surface that the clamps can, can clamp on when cutting. And this, then it has a, a, a 164th of an inch accuracy um, on each cut. This is a great machine, guys. We've got a special going on this right now, AW Machine, Apple Creek, Ohio. If you have any interest in this, they've got options for it. We would love to configure it the way you want from end feed tables, notching, however you need it. Give us a call, AW Machinery. We'll get you on the phone too here with Jaden and really talk through what options work well for you. Um, give us a call, check it out, AW Machinery, Apple Creek, Ohio.